Welcome to another edition of Points of Interest, brought to you by the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce. My name is Paul Boucher. I'm the President and CEO of the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce. And as we do each week, we present you with a calendar of events going on uh, in the Upper Valley for the week and have an exciting guest uh, to talk about a particular program. This week, uh, not being any different, we have uh, Dr. Ron Byron, who is the president of Lebanon College, who will be talking about two exciting programs that the college is undertaking, and uh, we'll begin here in, in September. So, if we start with uh, the calendar of events. Um, on Wednesday of this week, uh, there is a blood drive uh, at Alice Peck Day Memorial Hospital. Always a need for blood. Uh, begins at noon to 5 p.m. It's in the Doanel room, which is right behind the hospital, and uh, noon to five, but uh, you come in a little late, they'll wait till everyone uh, has had the opportunity to donate blood. And again, that's Wednesday uh, at, uh, at Alice Peck Day Memorial Hospital. Also on Wednesday, uh, this should be an exciting, it's a one-room schools, it's a talk in Canaan, at the Canaan uh, Meeting House uh, on Canaan Street and former Agriculture uh, Commissioner Steve Taylor will present New Hampshire's one-room rural schoolhouse, The Romance and the Reality. And that should be interesting. He's an interesting speaker anyway, uh, but this is uh, an exciting program that he'll be presenting. It's, uh, 7 to 8.15, again on Wednesday at the Meeting House on Canaan Street. Uh, can't miss it. You get to the top of the hill on Canaan Street, and it's right there on, on your left-hand side. You uh, see the building there. Um, we also have, um, on Thursday, uh, author readings in Canaan, again at the Meeting House, and Bermud Hunrich will read from his, his book that he wrote on natural history, um, The Homing Instinct, Meaning and Mystery in Animal Migration. Uh, again, that is at 7.30 p.m. at the Canaan uh, Meeting House uh, Road. Um, we also have the uh, weekly events going on in the Upper Valley. Uh, we have, uh, beginning on Mondays, we have uh, the uh, Monday night concerts, and next week's concert is the Upper Valley Community Band. They begin at 7 p.m. on Mondays. And then we have the Farmer's Markets on Thursdays, and uh, this week, the entertainment this Thursday at the Farmer's Market is um, uh, Mike Morris who will be performing during the, uh, the Farmer's Market on Thursday. Farmer's Market runs 4 to 7. And then at uh, 7 p.m., uh, we call the Front Port Series. That's a concert series sponsored by the Lebanon Recreation Department. And this week, uh, it is the Defibrillators. And it's a rock and roll country group from uh, Brooklyn, New York. And uh, so that is uh, uh, on Thursday of, of next week. And um, uh, we have coming up also at the Lebanon Opera House, uh, we have, uh, and we'll talk about it again some more, we have La Traviata, August 5th, 9th, and 15th, at the, and that's uh, performed by Opera North and, uh, at the Lebanon Opera House, uh, followed by, and they, they prepare themselves for two or three shows at one time, learning scripts and such. Uh, we have Street Scene. August 12, 14, and 17, and My Fair Lady, August 2, 8, 13, 16, and 19. Uh, so we start with My Fair Lady, we go to La Traviata and Street Scenes, which will keep you busy until the end of August at the Lebanon Opera House. Uh, they just uh, completed uh, a series of uh, La Car uh, Carousel, and uh, well attended, and uh, people really enjoy the performances that uh, they did there. And then... Uh, um, uh, look forward to these uh, to the other ones also. Also on Thursdays at the park at noontime, this is for the kids, uh, bring a picnic lunch, and uh, this week for entertainment is Judy Pancoast, and it's for children's music is what she's going to be doing. So you can bring a uh, picnic lunch, sit there, and enjoy the entertainment, 12 to 1 on Thursdays. Wednesdays, the day before, is uh, story time in the park. And that is run by the Lebanon Public Library, and a different readers and different uh, uh, books that they, they read to, to the kids uh, on uh, Wednesdays. Tuesdays is Dancing in the Park, and the Dance Collective is the group that uh, uh, performs. That is 12 to 12.45. So from 
Monday, um, which is the uh, concert in the parks. We have uh, dancing in the park on Tuesdays. Wednesdays is reading. Thursdays we have the uh, farmer's market and the front porch series. Um, so very busy time in the uh, Upper Valley. And also not too far away, and these are, uh, are very interesting also, it's at uh, the uh, St. Godin's, or Gowden's, I don't know what the pronoun correct pronunciation, uh, National Historic Site, that's on Route 12A in uh, Cornish, and they have concerts Sunday afternoons at 2 p.m. Uh, same thing, you can uh, bring a picnic lunch and enjoy it. Uh, this week uh, we have three tenors, popular arias and uh, Canzoni Napoletana, uh, Peter Gage, Furlong, Jeffrey Hartman, and Giovanni Formisano. Our tenors that we will be playing on the 27th. Uh, again, uh, uh, bring a picnic lunch and sit and listen to them. And if it gets a little wet, they go into the studio, uh, St. Gowden's uh, studio. So another uh, interesting event uh, at uh, St. Gowden's. And they run, they will run until August 31st uh, with their uh, concerts there. Um, so that's some of the activities going on in the Upper Valley this week. And we welcome Dr. Ron Byron, who is the president, as I mentioned, of Lebanon College. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. And Ron's been here before talking about the exciting things that are happening here at Lebanon College and uh, has a couple of new programs that uh, he would like to talk about. So. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. And those Italian names seem to roll off your tongue very oh, nicely. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice to be here. And uh, we've had a lot of initiatives going on throughout the last year and a couple of a couple of our new programs that we've been developing and working on are finally coming to fruition and being offered this fall. One uh, medical assistance certificate program is being offered and another is a medical diagnostic sonography program in our School of Allied Health and it complements those ra uh, rad techs, the radiography students and those who have graduated uh, and really we've, we've focused on those programs along with our medical coding certificates, but the medical assistant is going to be uh, a career path for many individuals. We have, we have great association with DHMC, with Alice Peck Day, Valley Regional, New London, Guilford Medical, all of the hospitals in the area, if you look at their websites and employment, they are looking for more and more medical assistance in the future. That is really the avenue that is going to really generate, you know, a lot of help internally and home health care for these hospitals and they're looking for medical assistance to come in and help out. Uh, we've had a lot of strategic meetings with these hospital individuals and they're telling us that we are going to be part of their strategic workforce planning in training individuals in the community and allowing those people to go to these hospitals interview for positions that are opening up right now and uh, that's you know part of our strategy moving forward in the next couple of years is to really put a lot of folks to work. Uh, give them great career paths in the healthcare industry, which is seeing at least a 30 or 40 percent increase in jobs in the next four to five years. And that really is with an aging population, uh, which is really key with geriatrics, with, you know, all of the industries that are really uh, narrowing a focus on what they need to emphasize on. Healthcare is really broadening their scope and, and allowing more individuals to come in. Um, and we're part of the community in part, you know, in doing that. So that, you know, medical assistance starts this fall. We're accepting applications for that program right now. It's a one-year certificate. And then once they're done that, they can sit for the national certification, oh. which is what all the hospitals would like to have these individuals uh, achieve at the end of that one year. So we're going to work with the students and train them and educate them. And then at the end of this, they'll be able to get jobs in hospitals around the area and medical facilities and then sit for the national certification. I read that quite a bit that uh, the uh, nursing profession and the other medical are an aging yep. and, and, and they're working far beyond than they expected to yeah. uh, only because of the shortage. Right. Uh, right. And, and not, you know, taking retirement at a normal time. Yeah. And it's really interesting that there are a lot of individuals, and, you know, we reach out, there are individuals that are changing careers at any age. Uh, but particularly the youth out there that have graduated high school that may not know what they want. You know, this is a great, even if it's an interim position to get into the healthcare field, it gets your foot in the door, it gets you some great benefits through an employer, and it gives you a really good paycheck every week, um, and it gives you some skills to build on later on. So it's really, you know, we're combining all of this for the community, and in Vermont and New Hampshire as well, not only New Hampshire, but 
we receive a lot of students from Vermont and the nice, uh, w one of our big advantages is that we don't charge an out-of-state tuition for those oh. Vermont residents. So families out there, you Vermont residents that are, you know, <laughs> looking to come to a college, take a look at Lebanon College because you'll pay the same New Hampshire tuition as our New Hampshire students do. And that can save you thousands of dollars over the year. One other area that we're introducing this fall uh, that'll save you residency, tuition, about two-thirds, is uh, a program we've been developing for the entire year. We have an associate's degree program in business management that typically takes two years to complete. This September, we're introducing a cohort style, a model. Uh, so there'll be roughly 10 or 12 students that'll be together for one year and study and receive their associate's degree in business management in one year. Now, uh, like I say, it's a cohort model, so they'll come to classes day and evening. We'll break that out. We'll set it up for them. Not every day of the week, but probably three or four days a week. Uh, it's an accelerated program over eight-week models. Uh, but the nice thing about this is that you can your tuition will be less than $6,000 for the entire program. The total program. Total program. Uh, excluding less text, books. Excluding books. Text. Books will be extra because we can't. Yeah. Uh, you know, we can assume what the cost will be, but from a tuition standpoint, $5,945 to receive that Associate of Science and Business Management mm -hmm. in one year. And if you compare that to any other institution, uh, you're saving about two-thirds of the tuition. Mm -hmm. Plus, after that, you can transfer to another institution and receive your bachelor's in another two years. So you save a year of residency and about two-thirds one-year tuition. Uh, all in all, you know, I'm looking at the families and the parents out there watching this program, and if your children are not really sure what to do next year, a year in school during the day and early evening to get your associate's degree in business management is a nice way to start. Hmm. That's really exciting because uh, then, as you say, they can go on to a, uh, a Southern New Hampshire University right. or New England College. New England College right. We have a number of colleges that we associate uh, with. Colby Soya, yep. probably also that, yep. and they will accept these credits. Absolutely, which, that's important. It is, and it's you know it's really our mantra is affordable education for today. And this program I've come up with, it's the Affordable Education Act of Lebanon College. Uh, an ability to get students in the classroom, get their associate's degree for less than $6,000. Uh, try, to try to find an associate's degree in business management for near that amount and you won't be able to do it. So like I say, it's a one-year program, cohort style, and it starts in September, actually the last week in August. So I would say uh, give us a call right away and get us, get us engaging you in that conversation. In addition to that, you have, uh, and it's fairly new to the college, is a criminal justice program. We correct? do. And that's we fairly do. new? Uh, well, it's, been, it's, uh, it's had its ups and downs. Okay. It's been part of the college for a number of years. Um, and we're just finding that there's a real, there's been a lack of interest in criminal justice on an associate's degree level. We still offer it. We're finding more and more students are just jumping into institutions that offer a bachelor's degree, and then they can go into the police academy or work in a police area. Uh, we still have it. We offer it. We also offer early childhood education associate's degree, uh, which has been very, very popular for us. Mm. Um, so we're really we're trying to broaden our scope and really offer programs and certificate models to individuals in a short term that they can come get educated and get a job pretty quickly. Mm, wonderful. Yeah. Um, and of course, the one that's really been going strong for a number of years is your uh, X-ray tech. Uh, yeah, the radiography department. Radiography. I know yes. you have the correct term. No. And and that's been almost full. For Very a successful. We just had an orientation today uh, on that program. Eighteen students coming into this upcoming fall class, which is wonderful. We cap it at twenty. We have associations with all the hospitals, so they get their clinical sites, three rotations within the two years, and they get to, you know, understand different modalities within the radiography department and get out there after that two years and get themselves some work. Wonderful. Very successful. A lot of this is being done at the new building on the <clears throat> campus that uh, the, the uh, Both buildings, has, yeah, yeah, we do. We have purchased or yep. has purchased within the recent time. Absolutely. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's the old, what we call the Shutorium building. <laughs> which is uh, located right on the mall and uh, uh, right next door to uh, Lebanon College itself. So now you have a campus. We do. <laughs> uh, Growing. And, and the plans for that. I know that uh, the uh, radiography is downstairs in mm -hmm. the building and some of the other ones, but upstairs is really vacant. Yeah. What's up, the long run? Um, the long and the short term is the upstairs is vacant, about 5,000 square feet. We've uh, hired Banwell Architects to redesign the upstairs for us. 
and we're in a fundraising campaign. Hopefully at the end of that capital campaign, uh, coming up over this fall into early winter, we'll be able to receive donations and grants from individuals and organizations so we can move forward and build out that top floor so we can have our sonography program upstairs, our medical assistant program completely upstairs with offices, clinical lab laboratories, and equipment as well. So uh, my vision and my hope is by next spring, we'll be able to have both top and bottom of the Annex building, the Oshutorium, available for students and staff and faculty. Um, we're still looking for some donations on that, um, but they're coming in. They're, we'll be having another capital campaign effort this fall sometime to see if we can't finish that off so we can get that ready for the students. Get that, that building done. Absolutely. Uh, going way back uh, in the college, it offered a lot of uh, what I call recreational <coughs> courses mm. or inter courses of interest. Uh, um, Languages, people, and I know people were going on a trip to Italy, for example, and they came in and took a course in yeah. Italian or Spanish or whatever. That's some of those programs still going on. We also? still have that. We still offer Spanish and French and Italian. We just actually had a, uh, a tra our first Lebanon College trip to Ireland, uh, our first international trip ever from the school. Uh, a couple of faculty members and some students and individuals in the community went to Ireland for ten days and really studied that whole history and poetry and writing and had journals. Uh, pretty exciting for the college to have that first time, but we do offer language. Uh, we do occasionally offer, you know, graphic design or some of the uh, writing classes and workshops, and that's big. We're getting into more workshops as we move forward for individuals who want to learn, you know, just short-term, one week or two week on specific subject areas, yeah. And how about computers? I know uh, you, you had labs both in uh, PCs and Mac. We do. And that's still Yep, a goal. still very active. We have three computer labs in our main building, and we have uh, one Mac lab in the other building in the annex downstairs. Uh, very active computers uh, tend to, with workshops, they tend to be very, very active with individuals looking to update their own knowledge on certain software and hardware. So, yeah, very, very popular with us. And it's uh, centrally located, right? It's downtown? nice. Uh, free parking always around uh, the mall. <laughs> Good. Uh, and of course, you you, know, you remember the the, you know, the school when it you know, originally was a uh, uh, Woolworth store, and, uh, and the anniversary of the fire and all recently. Oh yes, the fiftieth mm. anniversary of the fire and yeah. uh, and Woolworth building having gone up and then rebuilt and uh, uh, but it's it's done a great job. Uh, I mean, the college has in. in uh, transforming uh, thank you uh, that into a you know a real central we're still trying we're still working it forward there are a lot of a lot of things we want to do for the college in the next couple of years but we can do that with uh, you know more students coming in we'll be able to offer more programs and um, get some more folks employed in the area which is great keeping them here that's really the focus and and you know local businesses are very happy because the students are having lunch here and uh, absolutely enjoying the mall uh, while they're here. And, That's uh, right. Uh, so it's a it's a great uh, great advantage. It is good. Um, long term, I mm. mean, what uh, I know accreditation is an issue, and not mm -hmm. only with you know Lebanon College, but all the colleges mm. having issues and such. You're looking to be uh, more of accreditations for easily accepted. Yep, absolutely. Uh, We're yeah, we are. Uh, we're working on our eligibility statement now for the New England Association of Schools and Colleges, yes. which okay. is the regional body. Right now we are accredited on the national ASICs, the Accrediting Council on Independent Colleges and Schools out of Washington, D.C. So we have that national accreditation. We're accredited through JR Cert for our radiography uh, programs. Um, so we're looking now to file with NIAS to move that one step closer to becoming uh, accredited with them. That's about a two to three year process. Yeah, it's a but, long process. But it's a long, yeah, it's a having, long process. Having it done two or three times before uh, uh, through, uh, with the college uh, when I was on the board, yep. uh, it's, it's a painstaking. It uh, is, it is. But we have the team in place to do it. And then once we become eligible for NIAS, then, then all of the credits are transferred to all of the state schools, which uh, the state schools right now don't accept our or anyone other than the, the regional bodies transfer credit. So it's. Uh, that's not to say that, you know, we do have articulation agreements with many, many colleges so individuals can transfer. And this past graduating class in May, we have two students going to Colby Sawyer in the fall, which is nice. Um, so that's our plan to move on, on NEASC. Uh, my overall general long-term vision uh, is to take over the mall. Uh, 
<laughs> um, to leave the I eateries? Told, the, I haven't uh, told them yet. The, the, the people around you, yes. <laughs> Omer and well, Bob's in the diner. Well, there is a building <laughs> right alongside you that's uh, you know almost completely empty. I know. Uh, I know. Yeah, so so really, the big vision is, you know what, I'll keep... The eateries are great on the end. We yeah. love Three Tomatoes and Salt <laughs> Hill and the diner and, and Village Pizza. And I'd love to see... We have so many programs and students that we could actually just have different departments in the buildings or on the mall. So we can entirely encompass the entire mall area and have a true campus setting with, you know, we're talking down the road, we need five, six, seven hundred students, but that's something in the long-term plan, I think, of Lebanon College that we can we can attain. Yeah, yeah I'm sure you'll remember having come from the uh, Manchester uh, area. Uh, when I went to New Hampshire College, New Ham now Southern New Hampshire University, we were on uh, uh, downtown on Hanover Street, on Hanover Street mm. uh, upstairs over a grocery store, not a grocery, a little you know uh -huh. deli type <laughs> of thing, and and then over here, I mean, it, it was starts there, it, it, and we were in different <laughs> buildings, and there were stores downstairs. I mean, there was really no campus as such, but yep. that's the way. Uh, that's the way it started. That's the way it started, and then eventually they're out on River Road and. Uh, we got a beautiful campus there. Yeah, they're quite large now. And, and uh, it's spring, <laughs> yes, right. You uh, you worked for them uh, at, at some point, and, and and your career, Ron's career, by the way, is uh, you know he, he worked here prior with uh, Franklin Pierce uh, University, and uh, uh, served on our board here at the chamber, and was very instrumental in us starting the uh, Leadership Upper Valley program. Uh, Ron had taken the program in, Con in uh, Concord, mm -hmm. and we made a couple of trips down there and got their information and started the program. And you know my thanks to Ron uh, for getting that going, and it's my doing pleasure. tremendous Very today. Very happy about that. The the program mm -hmm. has been uh, spun off to vital communities. Just had their graduation. I went. I'm always invited to their graduation, nice. and uh, they're doing a great job with the uh, the leadership of the valley. Again, if anybody's interested, mm -hmm. uh, go on to Vital Communities website and uh, get some information on the uh, the leadership program. So. Ron, well, if I could just mention that you know, if you're looking for any information, you can always get us on our website online at uh, lebanoncollege.edu. You can like us on Facebook, and you can always just give us a call, 603-448-2445, for additional information on any of our programs that we're offering now and for the fall and for the future. Terrific. Well, we thank you very much for being with us this week. Thank you very much. Appreciate and, that. And uh, we'll keep abreast of what's going on in Lebanon College, exciting things. Absolutely. So that's another uh, program of Points of Interest brought to you by the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce. And we'll be back next week with another exciting program. Until then.